else, it's Ellen. Welcome back to my channel and thank you so much for being here. Today we're talking all about foundation. Foundation hacks for winter skin, but still looking amazing for both oily and dry skin. So before we get started, hit the subscribe button, share this video with somebody you think might like it, and let's do it. Make sure you guys stay to the end because today and many videos this month we are doing a giveaway. It's my days or my December of giving. The reason why I wanted to do this video was because I get tons and tons of questions on foundation application. How to make it look, you know, flawless and of course it's different if you have oily skin, if you have dry skin, right? But the main kind of theme here is that no matter what skin type you have, most people want it to look a flawless, be long wearing, and C, still don't look like it's a like one dimensional. It still needs to have a little bit of shift. It needs to have a reasonable amount of glow, even if you are oily. So let's get to it. Let me pull my hair up. Okay, so hair is up so you can see everything. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is we are gonna start with a primer. Now this side's gonna be dry and this side is going to be oily. So I'm gonna take the Milani Soft Glow. This is one of my favorite primers for my skin type, which is dry. And of course, I already have put on all of my skincare, which consists of an essence, moisturizer, serums, that kind of a thing. Now, when you're dealing with dry skin and you still want it to look glowy and natural, but yet still have like a youthful shift to it, Using an illuminizing primer first is going to be game changing for you. And that can also be an illuminizing SPF, whatever works for you. Now, say you are dry and you have a lot of pore, large pore size here and you wanna minimize that, of course, you can go in with a little bit of a pore minimizing primer right in the areas that you need it. Now for my oily side, I am going to go in with the e.l.f. Matte Putty Primer. already see the difference in the two sides. This one's a lot more glowy than the other. Now, um, for when you use matte primers, obviously if you're oily, you know this, uh, you want to let them sink in and do what they're supposed to do for a few minutes. Now, of course, pick your favorite matte primer. Um, if you are extremely, extremely oily, then you probably want to use something that's a little bit more mattifying, but I'm sure you know what that is. I do like the Ren's Perfect Canvas. It is a serum primer and it is gorgeous. Great for mattifying oily side is we are going to apply our powder first but don't apply a matte powder don't apply like a chalky powder get a loose powder or a pressed powder that is semi-matte the reason why i'm picking this hourglass one is because it does still have a shift to it so it is going to illuminate the skin underneath our foundation taken care of and that primer is now set for the other side you do not need to go in with a powder first because we're still trying to live in that luminosity so we're going to take I like to take a foundation this is the pure 4-in-1 love your selfie I just have to have two colors because these don't match me um, with a damp beauty blender and I like to use foundations that are either what they call a skin finish which is what this is or you know to use something that's super super luminous unless you are extremely dehydrated is really going to hinder the longevity of the wear of your foundation so you're better off doing this type of technique where you're getting a foundation that is called a skin like foundation and then i'll show you what to do after so we're just gonna take it on the back of our hand and i am using a very uh lightly damp beauty blender you can of course use a dry one if you would like it's totally up to you. This, I do have a foundation Friday on this um, foundation. The nose is kind of hard to do half and half, so bear with me here. This foundation is so pretty. Okay, so now that we are on one side taken care of, um, this is exactly how this, you can still see a shift right here in the cheekbone, which is where that highlight kind of comes through from the actual underneath primer. And then, I am going to apply a little bit of concealer and tap that in. Okay, now on this side, I am going to apply concealer first. You don't have to, but sometimes with oilier skin, I like to apply the concealer first 
this actually used to be back in the day how we did concealer. I mean, we really never really did concealer after foundation, which is just a different way of doing things. So whatever works for you, you do that way. But when you apply concealer first for, um, you know, when you apply concealer first for a lot of skin types, it helps to decrease uh, the amount of creasing under the eye because you don't have so many layers. Okie dokie. Now what you want to do is you want to take a long wearing matte foundation for my oilier skin girls. I love the Born This Way, uh, Born This Way Matte 24 hour uh, foundation. This is oil free, oil controlling, and waterproof and transfer resistant. So this is a good one. Now I'm gonna be using it on a dry beauty blender. For my oily girls, if you wanna use a slightly damp beauty blender, go for it. But if you are oily, adding a little bit more moisture to the skin is not needed because you're gonna make it in about you know 30 minutes from now, so. All right, and that foundation pretty, mm-hmm. It's definitely more of my uh, summer color, for sure. That's okay though. Now if you are dry and like to wear a matte foundation, you can do the exact same technique by doing the primer underneath that is luminous and then using your uh, matte foundation over. That will really help. All right, awesome. So I hope you can see the difference between the two sides. This one has a lot more kind of a dewy glowy finish and this one is definitely a lot more matte. Now, if you wanted to really step up the longevity of your foundation, you can use a setting spray. I like this one. This one's been by Ben I. I've had it in my kit forever. It's called Final Seal. You can spray a little bit on your sponge and then put your foundation into it and put it on the face. But again, these usually have um, like alcohol in them, so it's not amazing for skin but if you need it to last a long time and be a lot more transfer resistant and waterproof that's your go-to all right so now that we have everything on we're gonna go ahead and set this now of course uh, for the more drier skin we're gonna go in with a finishing powder you can of course go in with the hourglass powder and finish that off but what's really amazing is using a finishing powder like the hourglass one this is a diffused light and this is a different brush and really just, fin really just finishing off this foundation with a great soft glow. Okay, so look at that. It's very ethereal. That glow is just stunning all over the face. Now, when we're going to talk about oily, of course you guys can set with just a, a matte setting powder. But what I would urge you to do is to use the same powder that you did before. You actually even mix it. So for example, I have the Cover Effects powder, which is super matte, and then I have the Hourglass powder. Obviously you don't have to do this, it's a little extra, but just hear me out, okay? So you can absolutely basically mix the two together. So a little bit of Hourglass, a little bit of Cover Effects, and start to set. And that way it's not so, so matte. Because oily skin, yes, you are going to get a glow throughout the day, but you also don't want to look like a mannequin. You don't want it to look like it's this, you know, one flat dimensional, you know, so, you know, face. You want it to have a little bit of glow. You want it to have a little bit of shift. You can see that that's the, the combination between those two powders gave. I mean, you can totally see this one is nice and bright and shiny. This has a really natural finish to it, but yet it is more matte. Okay, so I hope you guys can see the difference here. Now, of course, if you are going to want for longevity, you are going to go ahead and set the face with a setting spray. Now, this is Ben Eye's final seal, okay? I need to cover my eyes because I have my lashes on. Oh my gosh, this spray, the sprayer on this though is awful. Okay, and then you can take your little beauty blender and push that in. And now that is locked. Now, of course, with the side that is more dry, you can take just a, like a re rehydrating setting spray, um, rehydrating toner. This is just their facial setting spray. It does has no alcohol in it. This is by uh, Pure. So there you go. You can see that it melted the powder into the skin and has become one with the skin. And this one has also kind of melted the powder in with the skin, but it has not added an extra luminosity to the skin that oily skin does not need, right? Can you see? Yes. 
All right, so I just wanted to finish my makeup and I have just bronzer and you know brows and blush on and lips, obviously. So I hope that you can actually even see all the products I used on as a bronzer and as a blush were actually matte. Um, that's a little bit different for me, but I just did so I, cause I wanted to show you, you can still see the glow or obviously the matte through whatever blush or bronzer you use. Um, I'm not super into highlighter, but of course you can pop a little highlighter on. Um, but yes, yeah, so look at that. I mean, that is very much like my style. Now this is gorgeous too, but it's just my skin type is dry. So anyway, I hope this helps you for a flawless, long wearing foundation, you know, routine. It really doesn't take that long, even though I was talking through it. It really doesn't take that long. So I hope that these tips help you. If you try them, comment in the comment section below. Let me know how it went for you, and I would love to hear from you guys. All right, so for today's giveaway, and all of these giveaways will be open for two days. So once this video goes live, it's up for two days, the give you giveaway is. Now, most of these are going to be, unfortunately, U.S. and Canada-based, just because shipping costs right now are exorbitant. Um, but there are going to be some international ones for my international friends, okay? So today's giveaway, just go ahead. You have to be 18 years or older. Comment in the comment section something like hi or whatever make sure you guys are subscribed to my channel though so that is the only stipulation is to be subscribed to my channel and you will win actually two people will win a goodie bag from me now if you have won a goodie bag comment in the comment section below and tell everybody that I think they're pretty epic they are full of tons and tons of different makeup and skincare and I call them my goodie bag so two winners will get a goodie bag from me. So it is open and I thank you so much for being here. I love each and every one of you. Thank you so much for 185,000 subscribers. You guys just blow my mind all the time and I could not be more grateful and appreciative of each and every one of you guys. So have a wonderful rest of your day and I'll see you in the next one. Lots of love from me to you. Bye loves.